Good afternoon and welcome to Les Moyer for the 2013 Bison Junior Hurling Championship Final between Tullerys wearing their traditional red jerseys and Kilbrin wearing their traditional blue. I'm joined here in the commentary box by probably Kilbrin's best ever um, centre-back, Mick Dinehy. Mick, it's a great occasion. You're going for three in a row, which will be a great achievement in Dohala Hurling. Yeah, it is a great occasion for Kilbrin. They are going for three in a row, as you rightly said. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is their fourth consecutive final. They were defeated by Mealing in 10, and they've been under great things. They beat Fremont in, in 2011, and they, were, they beat uh, Bant here last year. They're here again today playing Tullalees here in, in, in Lismire. And it is a great occasion for Lismire, too, for, in fairness to them. They have a lovely facility. They look up a lovely embankment crowd coming on the way in. Lovely day for hurling. Beautiful pitch here, beautifully manic manicured. So it is a great day for Duhalla, a great day particularly for the two clubs who are two great, as you say, traditional Duhalla hurling teams. And I'm sure we'll have a great contest this Rager. I think we will. Um, I know uh, Tullis has struggled with numbers, but it's always a big game in Tullis, as you know, Mick. And isn't it great to see a Cox senior star line out in the Hall final in the person of William Egan? Ah, uh, Kilburn is very fortunate to have a man of William's ability playing with him. And I mean, he's anchoring their defence and he has done for the past couple of years. He's a huge bonus to a place like Kilburn to have a man of his ability and his skill and his experience, having played with Cork for the last number of years, to be playing with Kilburn. Oh, he's, 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 he's a key man for Kilburn today, and I'm sure he'll, he'll deliver too when the, when the occasion arises. Yes, and now we'll, um, we'll give it a line out. Today's referee, by the way, is Donald Roach for Bant here, a former Milford player. And the one peculiar thing about today's contest is. Um, Donald played with Milford, the Kilbrin coach, Shani Garman played with Milford, and the Tullalese coach, Joe Regan, play also played with Milford. So it's a big day for Milford, isn't it, Mick? Ah, it is a great day for me. They have a great involvement by <laughs> refereeing and, and, and managers on both sides, but I suppose in particular it is a great day for both clubs, Kilbrin and Tullalese. They have contested a few, a few finals in the past, victory going to, on both occasions, I think, to, to Kilbrin. And but sure, who knows what can happen today, but I'm sure we'll have a great game in any case. Typical with me. Now we'll give you the line outs. We'll start with Tullalese wearing red and white. In goal, Morris O'Connor. Wearing number two, Aidan O'Gorman. Number three, fullback James Sheehy. Number four, Eamon Hennigan. Right half back, Paddy Sheehy. Centre half back, Alan Sheehy. And left half back, Binji Sheehy. Midfield, Shane Heher and Liam O'Connor. Right half forward, Finbar Stokes. Centre forward, Stephen Stokes, who captains the side. Of course, Stephen is son of the great Mackey. And left half forward is Damien Stokes. Right corner forward, Stephen O'Leary. Full forward, Mackey Sheehy. And in the other corner, Paddle Cronin. We'll give it a Kilbrin line out. In goal, Paddy O'Callaghan. Right cornerback, Tomas O'Reardon. Full back, Daniel Shehan. Left cornerback, Terry Cantlin. Right half back, Michael O'Reardon. Centre back, William Egan. Left half back, Con Carroll. Middle of the field, Patrick Egan and Kieran Shehan, who captains the team. Right half back, David O'Sullivan. Centre for, or right half forward, sorry, David O'Sullivan. Centre forward, Thomas O'Reilly. And on the left, young Gareth O'Linehan. Gareth Linehan. Right corner forward, Owen Shehan. Full forward, Liam Daly. And in the other corner, we have Shane Crowley. And here we are now in, in Lismire for this Duhalla Junior Holding Final as the players parade behind the Inner Market Pipe Band. Kilbrin, led by Kieran Shehan, their captain. And Tullis, led by Stephen Stokes, their captain. It's a great occasion to Duhalla Final, Mick, isn't it? Out there now for your parish behind the band. You've done it many a time with Kilbrin. It's a great occasion, it is, and I mean, it gives a great buzz in the two parishes, and there's flags up, and there's a huge eufo euphoria about the whole place before the final. I suppose, in fairness, it is what fellas train for and work for throughout the year is to play in this two final final. It is a great occasion, great occasion for any club who gets there, and it is a great, obviously, it is great to win it when two, two teams here today, two fine, able, fit teams, striving hard to bring honour to their, their little village, and I'm sure we'll be treated a great contest. I think, Mick, I think we'll be treated a great contest, and in us. There's obviously great interest in, in, in Newtown having such a, a quality junior team this year. We've been in jury and they're meeting the winners of this final today. That's, a, that's another big day to look forward to make whoever wins here today. Ah, yeah, well, that's for another day, Jor. I don't think anyone playing here today, they're not concerning themselves about Newtown, they're concerning about the, 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 the obstacle that's immediately in front of them. That's the trying to win today's match, and once today's match is over, whoever wins, regardless of who it is, they can start concentrating in Newtown. But for today, the, the, the concentration and focus must be solely on trying to win the Duhalla Cup. Yes. The, the John Joe Brosnan Cup is up here, now, and, and between two very evening match teams. And I think we should have a rip-roar of a game with some great duels. We'll have a duel there between... 
between um, Stephen Stokes, the captain of Tullerese, and uh, Willem Egan. If they will, if Willem will line out at centre back, that should be a good duel. Mate. I'm sure Will, Willem will line out at centre back. I've no doubt that he will, and, and I'm sure that whoever will be on Willem, there will be a great contest, and they will be trying to blunt his edge as best they can. But I've no doubt that Willem, will, uh, being the man he is, and the calibre he is, and the skill of his of his his his, 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 his hurling, he will come out on top. And of course, you'll have the um, Tullerese midfield caring, uh, pairing of Shane Hacker. And from a belly here, player Liam O'Connor against Patrick Egan and Kieran Shannon, the captain of Kilburn. That's been another great tussle. There will be many great tussles throughout the field. I'm saying, you know, you're quite little line there according to the program. They may not necessarily play according to that. And I'm sure there will be some great jewels and some great tussles. And sure, it's a lovely day for us. I mean, with no wind, with no rain, ground conditions are excellent. And we'll be treated to a lovely game, I'm sure. I think we could have a fantastic to all final within two very good teams. Well, and the ball is thrown in and first to break away uh, as William Egan, William bursts out to the right hand side, that's a great delivery in. And out comes the Tullerese full back, James Hee with the ball. Hand pass across the square, cut out and well cleared out and Paddy Egan is going for the stopping ball. Up goes Stephen Stokes, Stephen is it, Paddy Egan, Paddy gives it inside and out comes Alan Shee with the ball and, and Cambridge Hollow gives it up the left hand side of the pitch. Oh, was William Egan again. William reading that ball very well, coming straight through the middle. Going up, long delivery out. Out to young Garrett Linhan. Garrett on his right hand side. Take his shot in, and it is gone. To the right and wide. That's a one wide for Kilbrent. And there's Morris O'Connor with the puck out for Tullerese. William Egan dominating there already around centre back. High ball, Patrick Egan is going for it. Out comes Stephen Stokes. Stephen goes up. That's a well held by Stephen Stokes. Captain of the side gives it back, gives it back to Binji Sheehy. Binji gives it in. Don't Mackey and uh, Daniel Shehan. The ball breaks in. And out comes Daniel Shehan. Gives it out to Terry Cantlin. Terry delivers it up to the far side, up to Garrett Linhan. Garrett in towards corner forward, but coming out to his own Shane, out in front of James of James Sheehy. Gives it in, in into Shane Crowley. Shane trying with a very, very difficult angle across the road, and that's the left and wide. That's Kilbrin second wide. Kilbrin completely on top of the moment, Mick, but after two, two, ba two bad wides. Yeah, Kilbrin made, made a very good start from the point of view of winning position out field. Winning, Will Megan has, has done very well there at the start, and so has Daniel Shane and Terry Kent have corner back, but unfortunately they, have put, they don't have put it in the post. Ball drops down again. And it's Stephen Stokes. Stephen has to start. No, that's not Stephen. That's Liam O'Connell. Liam O'Connell gives a high ball. Mr. McIlshee and Daniel Shea. And the ball breaks inside. Oh, it's a free in. McIlshee uh, was taken out of it. And it's a free in to Kilbrin. Free in here now to Tullerese. We're uh, kind of a, a robust chat by Michal Raiden. Switch. I'm sure Tullerese will convert. Tullerese are going to open their account here. With it. And that's a good score. He's a, well, he was never going to miss them, but he's a fine take, free taker. It's Nemo Connor. Nemo Connor gets the first score of the game for Tullerese. And Paddy O'Callaghan targeting Garrett Lynn in the far wing. Binji she goes up with him. Binji catches a great ball, trying to come up with the ball. Gives it back out. Out to Shane here. Shane delivers a high ball into Billy Mackey Sheehan. Daniel Shane. That's a great catch by Daniel Shane. Hand pass out to Willem Egan. Willem comes out, strikes it on the side of the field. Between Tomas all right in Alan Sheehan. Tomas goes up, ball breaks in behind him. And out comes Aiden O'Gorman with the ball. Aiden stands up and up the side of the field. And that is um, Damien Strokes giving a high ball in. And it goes to the right and wide. It's a good lively start to match me. That was a fantastic catch there by Daniel Shea and out to William Ian and a clearance. This game is being played at a fairly hectic pace and I can assure you if it keeps going like this, it will be a great contest. Yes, it's looking very good. Ball comes out in between Tomas Riley and Alan Sheehy. Out comes Paddy Sheehy. Ball breaks in. Paddy Egan is out there. Here comes Lee O'Connor, the farmer belly here. Pan pass out to Binge Sheehy. Binge up the far side of the pitch. Up towards um, Sean Depp. Mackie, Mackie, Mackie Sheehy has it. Being chased by, by Daniel um, Sheehy and Daniel holding by the hurling as the free in. Um, Mick, um, Tullerese are looking dangerous and they get the ball up into the forward line. Oh, absolutely. They have made a few attacks there and they're certainly looking very dangerous and very sharp. There's no doubt about that. Kilburn will have to stop, give away a freeze or else they'll find themselves behind. And Nemo Connor make his way out from his midfield position to take this free. 
Neem stated himself and the umpires got the ball was sent wide. That was a novel miss for for Tullis. Oh, well, and Tullis were asleep there, shot back out to, to William Egan, the one man who don't want to give a ball to. Out into Tommaso, Tommaso O'Reilly, off his right hand side. And that's a great score from Tommaso O'Reilly. But the Tullis were asleep there for the quick puck out, Mick. Yeah, William Egan was very well placed there, and he nodded for the puck out, and Paddy gave it to me. He lofted down here, and Kilburn got a point from it by Thomas O'Reilly. Great point by Thomas O'Reilly. And here's Muller sent to O'Connor with the puck out. Out the left hand side. Out towards Shane Hare. Shane Hare going up and being beaten by David O'Sullivan. Ball's on the ground. Paddy Egan. Paddy in there's Binji Shee. Ball breaks back. And out comes Eamon Hannigan with the ball. Good young player. He gives it up. Gives it up to Stephen O'Leary. Ball well cleared by to, um, Holly Redden. Holly Redden gets back down. And Garrett Linehan is there. He's on the ground. And it's a free to Tullalese. Oh! Oh, there was a bit of an after ball there from Garrett Linehan, but not much. It was only handbag stuff, Mick. Yeah, I don't know to you at all. He was asking a little bit of a walk before that, and he was letting him know that he was wrong. That was all. It's only a push up. I don't know. The referee is actually taking his name. Don Roach, who played many a long year with, 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 with Kilbrin. I think he's looking booking Garrett Linehan. Yes, harsh booking, I would say, Mick. Oh, very, very, very harsh booking because Garrett is a young lad and he's playing very, he's a very clean player. He wouldn't be into that kind of robust stuff at all. Here's Liam O'Connell, Liam very reliable free taker. Whatever happened with that last free, is he going to make a with it this time? Strikes a dangerous ball in, but it's going to the right and wide. Now, when, when, he, when he's off form, and he, he's the main free taker, like, and if he's off form, Mick. Yeah, well, there's certainly a couple of chances of frees. Oh, points got on to have messed up on them, certainly, so there, there should be a front, I think, at this stage. Coming down here between oh, Kieran Shahan and Bindi Shee, how comes Alan Shee? This is a very accomplished hurler. Going through the middle, he's still travelling, he's running at the Kilburn defence, gives a great delivery in towards Nakashi, but oh, oh, oh. Terry Canton pulled in that ball, so there was a corner forward in behind him, but Harley Redden comes out with this ball now. Gives it out, and here's Kieran Shehan, Paddy Egan, Paddy gives a great delivery in to, uh, towards Tomas Riley, Tomas Riley being chased by Alan Sheehy, Tomas with the ball, and this is a free for. Kilbrin and soft enough free there, Mick. Yeah, it was a soft enough free, I suppose, but, but in fair, it totally is a three for him, got holiday, yeah, so this is fair enough. And the score now, about seven minutes gone, one point each. And Shane Crowley straight between the sticks. It's a very finely balanced game, Mick. Very finely balanced so far, I must say, and then being played at a great pace and some, you know, as a fair few wides from Tullard East and a couple of wides from Kilburn, but still, it is early days and I suppose people are a little bit nervous at the start, so when the game will settle down, I said you will find that there will be less wides. All goes up, breaks around, not a bunch in the middle of the field now. And away comes Shane Crowley with it, Shane delivers a great ball down this, down this side, down towards Liam Daly. Liam turns on to his right hand side and that is... To the right and wide. Point, point. I make. <laughs> Look at it from where I was there. I thought it was going wide, but actually yeah, it was over the bar and it was a great point by Liam Daly. Well done. It's a great point, yes. Liam has gone out. Uh, he's not playing in his, in his full foul position. He's gone out, so. Kilbino and to three points to one. Oh, that's a great catch by Daniel Shahan. Or Kieran Shahan, sorry. And Kieran going through the middle. Captain play, captain's part. That's some score. Yes, Kilbrin seems to be coming in top now in the last couple of minutes. And Mano Santino can't get ready with the puck out. Kilbrin, halfback line getting in top now, of course it is a very strong halfback line. Yeah, well, they were a smart bit slow, as little as they often are, but... but uh, yes, yes, and... Kilbrin are beginning to see us, yes, it looks like it, and this is well within William Egan's capabilities. He's inside his own 65. Yeah, to be a great score, but... He has done it both with his division, with his toe and with his county, so he's well capable of doing it. Bending, lifting, striking, and that's a great driver ball. Has he got the accuracy? No, it is tail to the left, but it's a great driver ball, Mick. Oh, great driver ball. I mean, he was, he was 15 years old. Yeah, behind his own 70. It was a mighty drive, but, you know, he, unfortunately for him, he didn't have the accuracy. And we've Morris O'Connor getting ready with the puck out. He goes out to the left-hand side this time now. 
Well, ta uh, ta it's going to be Holly Redden and uh, Finbar Stokes. The ball's back. William Egan, positional central can't beat it. Drives the ball down. Don't hold Shane Redden. Out comes Garrett Lynn and gives the leaves to go to Shane. Out with James Sheehy being chased by um, Shane, uh, Shane Crowley. And the ball goes out over the line. This a sideline ball to Tullerys. Sideline cut being taken by Pinji Sheehy. That's a good ball up. But here comes Holly Redden again, but this time Stephen Stokes out. Finbar Stokes, ball breaks, uh, William Egan is there, ball on the ground, breaking in three or four people. And now comes um, Liam, um, Shane here with the ball, gives up up towards Mackie Sheehan. Mackie, Mackie gets inside the full back, he's still going, he's being chased by three Kilburn defenders. He's still going, he's being fouled, there is a free in. If that man gets enough ball inside me, he could be in trouble, Mackie. Yeah, he... And the defense <coughs> Yes, he is starting to create a small bit of a problem. All right, maybe our full record. Uh, maybe our full record. We'll have to keep out, keep in front of him, maybe to prevent him from getting on the ball first. So that might be the answer. If any day, he's as good a forward as you'll get any place. Can be a bit hot tempered as we all know, but here he goes now. And here's Liam O'Connor. Liam won't. Well, hardly missed this one. He missed a v one from a very similar position earlier on. Yes. And that's a good score from well, it's a score, well, it's a good score, he, no one should miss that. So that makes the, the score uh, four points to two in favour of Kilbrin. Paddy O'Callaghan with the puck out, are you happy enough as a Kilbrin man? Ah yeah, well I mean, it's, uh, it's Kilbrin generally are a smart little bit slow to start. But a great ball, well, I think it's up to Liam Daly, Liam Daly being chased by Aidan O'Garman, that's a great score from Daly. Yes, as we know on band here, Daly, Daly when Daly gets going, right? Yeah, but it was a fantastic ball in Timberlake. Like played out to the corner, he knew it was coming here, ran out, caught and turned and put over the bar, which was a fantastic shot. He had two great points got from the corner, no unfairness to Liam. And Manus O'Connor, bucket down again uh, between uh, Finbar Stokes and Holly Ray and Park. Oh, um, and here come Kilbrin, um, Owen Sheehan going through. Have you go? Oh, dangerous ball in my well hit by Manus O'Connor. He should have scored that, mate. That should have been over the bar. Ball coming out, out comes Stephen Stokes, well held by Stephen, trying to get his team going, now oh, he's a team captain. Did he miss it or was it deliberate into Mackey? Here comes Mackey again. Mackey, again. Mackey Sheehy being chased by Daniel Sheehan. Is he being fouled? No, the referee doesn't say so, he's being bottled up. And now comes William Egan with the ball, two tall leasemen down Egan. There was a great ball in towards Tomas Riley, the ball breaks inside. Aidan Aiden O'Garman goes back, being chased from, from Tomas Riley. Aiden out, to out very near the commentary place here, and it goes out over the line, the sideline ball for Kilbrin. Con Callan now getting ready with this sideline ball. Score five, five points in favour of Kilbrin. It's a great sideline ball. Great ball in, out comes James Sheehy being, ch being, being chased this time by Garrett Lennon. Sheehy gets the ball, being battled up by three Kilburn men. And here comes Garrett Lennon, cutting inside, Lee O'Connor is there, trying to cut him off. Garrett Lennon uh, gives it back out, gives it back out to Tomas Riley, really, Tomas, so that's good, that's very good holding for Kilburn, Mick. Very good, yeah, great work there by Garrett Lennon, he, got, he struggled to get it, but then he, he touched it on and got it on to Tomas Riley really and put it straight over the bar. Talese now with a puck out, Kilburn get definitely edging in top now, but... Ball breaks in, Stephen Stokes goes up to it. Holly Redden is there, Liam O'Connor, Shane Heher. Right away comes William Egan, he bursts out of the fence and gives a very intelligent ball, great ball in, into Owen Shane, Owen Shane delivers in, in into Gallus and then Gallus gives it back to Owen Shane. Owen Shane being chased out here by uh, Alan Sheehy, gives a great ball across the toast to Mark Riley. A great interception there by um, Paddy Sheehy, Paddy Sheehy gives it back, shout to Shane Heher. Con Carroll and, and Don Stokes. Damien Stokes, sorry. And now comes Paddy Sheehy with the ball, being well cut off there by Kieran Sheehan. Ball on, here comes Liam O'Connor with the ball, Liam snaps it. At the end of this ball, in, in goes P Paddle Cronin, Paddle trying to get inside. It's gone inside, Mackie Stokes, but out comes uh, Terry Cattle with the ball. Terry, great delivery down the field, looking for Shane, um, Shane Crowley. Out comes Eamon Hanahan, uh, um, and the ball out over the sideline, and out for a sideline ball. What advice were you giving to the Minters week? What advice were you giving them? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be coming to the loan. That's a great cut in. Here. Up goes Alan Sheehy. Ball breaks in behind him. Out comes Eamon Hannigan. Eamon Hannigan by Shane Crowley gives it up the side of the field. Penny Egan is up there. D Damien Stokes. Shane, uh, Shane 
Uh, Stephen Stokes, Stephen delivers the ball in, but uh, out comes uh, um, Holly O'Reardon, Holly O'Reardon. Great hand pass out, out to Egan. Egan going through the middle now, making great space and getting another very intelligent ball into Tomar Soily. Tomar Soily turns, and that's a fantastic score. William Egan is giving a very intelligent ball out of the halfback line. Oh, yeah, he's playing a great game here. He's, he's really the rock in which Kilbrin defence is built on. And he's playing very intelligent. He's playing behind his wing backs and he's covering and he's giving great ball up the wing. That the he's, 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 he's giving fantastic ball in yeah. mm. And oh, yes, oh, that was Nakish. He pulls in that, but go, back goes Daniel Shehan. Daniel out the far side of the pitch, out to Owen Shehan. Owen Shehan is first out. Turns in here, gives a very good ball into Holly Rayan, but. I don't know what that was, but it's a free to Kilbrin. At the moment, now it's seven points to one favourite Kilbrin. And William Egan take a quick free here. Spots man inside, uh, targeting Liam Daly. Liam Daly and um, Aidan O'Gorman go for the ball. It's a great ball inside into a small side. He has he, you know, he gets his hand up. Out comes Alan Sheehy with the ball. Makes out on Sheehan going through now. Being, being chased by Binji Sheehy, is still going. He's gone inside, he's cut it across, great ball into the middle. Ooh. Ball is inside the edge of the square and it's a free. He's throwing the ball in, throwing the ball in. Out comes Liam O'Connell with the ball. Paddy Sheehy, Paddy Sheehy gives it out to uh, Finbar Stokes. Finbar looks up, trying to target a Mac inside, but the ball doesn't get him in. Uh, here, here comes Terry Cantlin, Terry Cantlin out to... Uh, William Egan, a dangerous ball on Atlanta in the 21. Very well held inside there by James Sheehy. James had it Paddy Sheehy. Paddy Sheehy up here. Wants to ride the Pedal Corner and go for it. But tomorrow's already out on, and it is a free out. Shawnee Gorman uh, goes up the sideline there because of the team being beaten. Yeah, you see. After spotting some. Not so well above there in the corner of our position. Have you one of those men up there? Egan drives it up this side of towards Liam Daly. Liam goes up. Ball breaks back. And there's Kieran Shane going to it when Shane Crowley does in the mixture between them. Gives it back to Shane Crowley. Very well blocked there by Eamon Henning and great blocking out to Liam O'Connell. Liam O'Connell gets up towards Paddle Cronin. But William Egan is going for it and standing behind him. Egan catches a great ball there and he's coming over with it. It's going to be a way game here this, e this evening. Into Paddy Egan. Paddy Egan. Across the field, across the field goes on Shane, on Shane being, being hailed by, being chased by James Shee, ball breaks. Back goes Binji Shee, James Shee has the ball now. Strikes it up the middle of the course. Of course, Paddy Egan, Paddy Egan and Lee McConnell. Out here to Dan Stokes. Up and he has it, he won that ball well, strikes it in. In towards Paddle Cronin. Ball goes up and now comes, no, he's got the, Daniel Shane came out, Paddle Cronin is still trying inside, trying to get it in. What are three Kilburn defenders there and out they come with the ball, out to Cantlin, Cantlin strikes it down the far side of the field. Then Yemen hand again and Shane Crowley breaks inside, out comes Alan Sheehy with the ball. Alan Sheehy is still going, gives a hand pass here, out. Out to Lee O'Connor, Liam, that would be a fantastic score but it's over. And that's a fantastic score from Lee O'Connor. Um, that's a great score from Lee O'Connor. Finbar Stokes, oh no, um, 12, Damien Stokes is down here, that was a great score, Mick. Absolutely, one ball, great ball, one in the middle of the field, and he took a shot, it was inside his own halfway line, and I said he put straight over the bar. He's their chief scorer, of seven. He's, he's a threat, and he'll kill him. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Yes, he's a good holder. And, um... No, I don't want that to happen, obviously, but, but uh, you know, in the field of play, that, that, that's very little between the teams, but Kilburn maybe are showing that little bit extra well, in scale and a bit of extra in teamwork, and they are getting a few extra scores, which is where putting him where they are. The difference is William Egan. He's, the, the ball is oh, giving him some forwards, yeah. He's having a huge impact in the game, doesn't but I look at it, look, there's no one town near him, Victor. I hear the ball, there's a lot of pulling over the far side of the field, and there's Gareth Lennon coming. I gather one of ourselves, he's in the. Ooh! And here comes um, Stephen O'Leary. That's a great intimate uh, and well blocked. Oh! And Egan comes over the ball, that's great holding by William Egan. Out here does. And Liam Daly goes in, he's being. Who? A great hand pass into Kieran Shane. Kieran goes in. He's going straight for goal. And a great save by Morris O'Connell. That was a good save. Great. great save. Good lively game of holding. Hard for you. And a clean game. Yeah. Very good contest and great, some great scores being taken. And, and great, as you say, William Egan has had a huge impact in this game. He's commander in chief here at centre back. And oh, completely. He's making it look so easy. And the, the ball he's giving into the, into, the, into the inside forwards like it's, it's, it's unreal. Well, he's a great reader of the game, and he wouldn't be playing with Cork that he is. And you know, he's really up some great balls. You see, up and we get here, we're asked to get a few nice scores from it. And now, Shane Crowley coming out to take this. 
65. Shane's was the older brother, Damien, of course, was a class player with Kilbrin. Shane getting ready to know with this. And the ball goes right and wide. That's a bad miss. And now comes William Egan with the ball. William going straight up the middle. And what a game this man is having. He's going straight through the middle. Three tullies has been going for him. And instead of going for his own score, he gives a great ball in. Oh, this is a great hold from Kilbrin. No one Shane has it. Can they finish? Hand power. Oh, did they over elaborate, Mick? <laughs> I think there was a, yeah, it was some movement. Tullies, hearts were peppering at that stage. I think Kilbrin well, could, could certainly have a goal guard. Out is Stephen O'Leary. Stephen O'Leary gives it up. Into Imri Makishi and... Um, Daniel Sheehan, ball breaks inside, and then comes Daniel Sheehan with the Sheehan with the ball. Gives it out to Terry Cantlin, turns inside, the ball goes back out towards Holly O'Reardon, and ho it's out near the sideline. Ball gives it back, gives it back to... And that's good holding by Daniel Sheehan. High ball down between Garrett and... Oh, what a catch by Young Linhan. He's going through now, being chased, and Kilbrin are really up in the ante here. But uh, there was a who cut in, the ball goes out through. Thought it was 65, maybe goes wide. Kilbrin and Patches are playing some great holding yeah, There was a mighty catch there by Garrett Lennon. He was going straight for it, but he, he neither shot for goal or passed. He kind of made up, didn't fail to make up his mind at the last. Oh, it's a great connection. That's something he's gone out of the game of holding the overhead pulling, isn't it? Yeah, no, very, but it was a great connection by um, Damien Stokes. Score now is seven points to three in favour of Kilbrin. Sideline ball for Kilbrin being taken by... Oh, very poor, and he, I, I, as you said, Mickey, was after a couple of great ones. Gets the ball across the south side of the field, and uh, the, there goes Stephen O'Leary, Stephen O'Leary. A high ball in towards Mark Keegan, they're targeting him, he has it this time. But, uh, uh, oh, oh, no. Now the free gives a free, all right, Mike, well, look. There, yes, it's their one play, try and get in the mark as quick as they can, can't they? Yes, I think that putting the ball in and in, and I think that, that, that you know, this man seemed to be coming out first and gathering, and he's causing a bit of a problem. Kilburn and Kil Kilburn will have to react to that. I think that then get this full back out with him, at least with him, if not in front of him, well, because he is causing a problem. And he's he got a free there now, which is, I would say, rather he slipped rather than being knocked by Kilburn, man. But it's not free. But if you're William Egan at the other side, giving the ball into him, there'll be something I'd do, wouldn't there? And Nemo Connor taps it over the bar, and it is now seven points to four. Well, Mr. McCallum, what do you think? There's a jerk, but we're, we're doing our best, and and I think we were unlucky we didn't get a, a score or two there. Very unlucky, you can get a goal, but we're eagerness to be blind. Oh, playing very well. well yeah, great point. Ball up, and Ogles Paddy Shee, Paddy Shee, oh, to Paddy, Paddy Egan, Paddy. Oh. He nearly knocks the commentators over as well. <laughs> and now we have got, comes Jim Shee into Shane Crowley, Shane Crowley, oh, Shane, Shane. Quick pick out. They, they, they've done this a couple of times out to the lease and uh, Kilbrin haven't been alert to it. Stephen Crowley gives it high in. Don Stokes is going in. But all comes William Egan. Ball breaks inside. Mackie Shee has it. He's their main threat, but he was hooked in. Goes Stokes. Oh, what is he? He gives it in. And Pather Cronin is there. Oh, and it goes right and wide. That was dangerous, Mick. Oh, that was the end of There's no doubt about that. No, but he, he, he struck without giving due consideration. Just struck it out wide. And puck out down the far side of the field. Garrett and going high again. Oh, that's some catch. But Benji Sheehy is there. And uh, David O'Sullivan going through. On to his left. That's a great score. That's a good score. Kevin Miguel to pull away now. Six minutes to go at half time, roughly. And it's eight points to four. There's only four points, Mick, though. No, there's four points. He's not in a hurling game. In no. On both sides. Kevin certainly won with not two goal chances missed. At least a goal chance missed. All breaks in his head and blue. Shane Hare fighting with the ball, meant for there in midfield with uh, Stephen O'Leary. Stephen is at the movie out to half hour and he's at to make it when he went out. Oh, goes away, Bingy, Bingy back into Shane Hare. Shane Hare, that's going to the right and wide. That's a poor delivery, you know, Mick, wasn't it? Yeah, it means we'll give you the ball back to Paddy O'Callaghan. I'm struck to shot a goal and he just <laughs> plays it out wide. I mean, it was certainly a point opportunity there for Tullies. Down we go again and up goes Owen Shahan being flicked away by Liam O'Connor. Uh, David O'Sullivan, David give you a great ball in, this is this ball in. And Marlis O'Connell's inside. Gives it out, out towards Stephen O'Leary and uh, Michal O'Reardon, Michal. And there's David O'Sullivan again, David pulls across his own man, but O'Reardon is still there trying to bring it out, being tackled by three Tullerleesmen. 
He still gets that and David O'Sullivan brings it over to poor clearance and gives it into Liam O'Connor. And Liam has a great poke of a ball, but this one is going to the right and, wa and wide. Yes, they have to come to poor whites uh, to the east, which yes, should be the keep. are getting the opportunities. If they were taking the opportunities that come in their way, I said they'd be very nearly with Kilburn, but unfortunately for them, they're not. Oh, eight points to four. And a, a perfect evening for Holy Mick. Not a puff of a breeze, though. And a good, good live to give him a Holy Mick. Oh. Up they go, middle of the field, Adam Sheehy and Tomas, Tomas Riley, Paddy Sheehy. Oh, comes him and handing him a crowd. He's gone inside him. He's going through. Take you on the, the, the Kilburn defence. He's still going, trying to get a flick in it. Oh, comes Paddy Sheehy. Paddy Sheehy wins that ball. A high ball up between Stephen Stokes. Don Stokes is there trying to pull Egan. Is there? Oh, comes um, Finbar Stokes. Finbar walking out to Stephen O'Reilly or Stephen O'Leary. And Stephen gives a high ball. And it's a good score for Kilburn. And for uh, Tullerese, sorry. To, to narrow the, the, the margin to three points. Kilbrin playing the better hole, but Tullerese are hanging down, as you said, it's only a three point, a three point lead. Out this side of the field again, this one goes to Old Shane. Paddy Sheehy is there. Down the and Paddy Egan has gone through. Paddy Egan is going straight through the middle, he's still going to chase by Lee O'Connor. And uh, that's free and free into Kilbrin. Paddy ran at uh, Tullerese's defence there, and it is free into Kilbrin. Liam Daly getting ready with the free at the moment, now it is eight points to five, they should restore the four point lead for Kilbrin. As we're getting near half time, Liam Egan, Liam Daly tapping it over the bar. Four points between the sides. Of course, Stokes is going for it, and Stephen Stokes is going for it. Now comes William Egan with the ball. That's great, holy by Egan. A lovely, simple pass out to Kieran Shahan and Kieran have a go. That's a dangerous ball in. Well held by the keeper. And out here comes the side of the pitch now. Delivering a long ball, but back into the Kilbrin half back line. Stephen Soaks and William Egan. Oh, that's great. Holy by Egan again. Out to Stephen O'Leary. Stephen O'Leary. His shot blocked out. And uh, here comes Liam O'Connor. Liam gives a hand pass into Stephen Soaks. Stephen Soaks only at the Kilbrin defence. Goes on to his left. Very well blocked by William Egan. Egan, who's heavy a stormer here today. Out the far side of the pitch. Out by Eamon Hannigan has it. Um, Shane Crowley is there. Hannigan gets a foot to it. Out to Binji Sheehy. Binji being chased by Owen Shane. Gets it back to Shane Crowley. And that's it. Goes in and goes to the right and wide. And there's some lively holding down at Mick. Good lively game of holding ball up to the side of the pitch again. But out comes Paddy again. Paddy gets a stick to it. Then he gets a foot to it. He's out here very near us. Looking like Drumhead is going. He's gone inside Stokes. And uh, there's a dangerous ball in. Out comes Eamon Hannigan. Shane Crowley is there. Out comes Binji Sheehy. Binji getting ready for a long delivery. Long delivery up the field. There's William Egan again. God, oh, that's great control by Egan. He's been chased at him by two. And Stephen Stokes is there, the ball goes down. A hand pass out by, uh, oh God, he got a bit of a flake there. And out, out comes Holly Redden, Holly Redden, hand pass it out. Out to David O'Sullivan, David O'Sullivan, have you go. Out towards Liam Daly, Liam Daly being chased by James Shee. Ball breaks in behind him, ball breaks in. Garrett Lennon has it, Garrett Stennis, and shoots over the bar. That was a good pass to play there, Mick. That was a great place to play, but I think we say again, at the risk of repeating ourselves, um, William Egan is lowering the thing at centre-back, and only for him we'd be in trouble. Well, I think yeah, the, the one move, I think, suddenly it's like it's to bring um, Mackie Sheehy out, but he'll take you away, the gentleman inside in on two and all. High ball down here in Stephen Stokes. It seems to a great catch. He's being, being harassed. Stephen Stokes, captain of the side, is still trying to get there. Gives it back to Lee O'Connor. He will be tacked very high, being well, being tackled very high there, but... He still has the ball and gives a high delivery in. In between um, Daniel Shehan and Mackey and the ball goes out to the left and wide. Still only five points in this game as the referee Donald Roach blows the half-time whistle. Well, Mick? Yeah, well, I suppose maybe to be fair, 10 points to five, Kilbrin leading, double score. It maybe it isn't a fair reflection of the way the game is going. It can, Kilbrin, you know, could be out of sight if they took a couple of goal scoring chances that came their way and a few points equally. Tullerese could be with them. They had a goal scoring opportunity. They didn't take it. And good, had a few wides. Had they taken those, they'd be with Kilbrin or maybe in front of them. So, you know, it's about taking up opportunities in this game. And both sides, I suppose, are being guilty of, 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 of fairly poor misses. Okay, and, uh, but um, as you said, uh, Kilbrin deserves to be a couple of points more in front, but it's only a five, five points in and a half time, so we look forward to a second, good second half.
Okay, welcome back here to the second half. I don't think there are any changes on this side. Hope you're making the ball is thrown in. And first to break away is um, David O'Sullivan. David gives a, a, a good ball in. In towards Owen Sheehan. Owen turns. Oh, it's a great start for Kilburn. Owen Sheehan. It's a great start for Kilburn. Paddy Egan won in the midfield, and it's a great start. That's the start that Tullinese wanted, and they didn't get. It's a great start for Kilburn. It puts them now 11 points to 5 in front. Morris O'Connor with the puck out, going straight down the middle again. I don't know why they're going down the middle with this puck out with William Egan the way he's playing. This time he comes up with Con Carroll. Con Carroll gives it up. And gone inside, gone inside the small side. Well blocked by Alan Sheehy. Ball goes back. The keeper's coming out, coming out a long way. And Shane Crowley's gone inside him. Tully's no keeper at the moment. Shane Crowley and it's a free in. Yes, he was well and truly level that time. There's surely a yellow card at least. Has to be. He only pulled the, he pulled the helmet up, yeah. Yeah, there was no, no. So, so free into um, Kilbrin. And it's Liam Daly getting ready to strike it. Ben strikes it. And yes, to, uh, Kilbrin now opening quite a gap here now. And that's good holding, good holding by Shane Hill. How did the end this ball in? And that's a good score from. Do you see the. Uh, Tully seems to fear support over there. Tully have good support and should more look to him to have, for having the support. That was a good point there by Tully. That's a good point by Shane Hill, yeah. Yeah. Ball coming out the side of the field. Binji Sheehy and Garrett Linen going for it. Ball comes in, Ellen Sheehy is there. Ball. That's good holding by Benji Sheehy. There's a small little bit of a breeze beginning to develop a small, but this helping to release me. Yeah, this is, uh, look at the flags here. It's very insignificant. I don't think that... And here, Liam, Liam going short this time. Into Adam Sheehy. Adam going long, and... That's a good score. Kidman were asleep for that. I know that's after me. There's only a four-point game now, Mick. You were coasting about it two minutes ago. <laughs> Four points in it. Yeah, well, like we said, that, that, that anything can happen in the day of a final. Kilburn with a few points ahead at half time, but just by peg back now to 11 7. 11 7 now. That's good hole in the middle of the field, and Kilburn attacking Liam Daly goes out. Liam being chased by Aidan O'Garman. Liam still being chased. Hand is back now. He gets away. He hands it into um, David O'Sullivan. David off his left side. That's a dangerous ball in. Garrett Lennon. That's it. Oh, it just goes to the left. No, Joe Mine, an umpire on the left, just waves it wide. That was a good bet across the square. If there was anyone available, Mick. <laughs> That was, it was like a strike in soccer. <laughs> Unfortunate for Kilburn. Kilburn had no in rushing forward. And, and, the ball and that's a good long puck out. Oh, yeah, Uncle Stephen Stokes goes up. He's still going, fighting for the ball. Ball breaks in behind. Towards Benji Sheehy. Out comes William Egan. Williams Hall is being, being held. And William Egan bursts out the ball. This man is having a man and a match performance here in the, in the Dollar final. He's still going. Still going. Strikes. And it's gone. That's a great score. Great score. Yes, Egan came in that half back line together. Up he goes again. Oh, what a catch by Daly, our uh, Egan. Yes, he's heavy a blinder. Tullerese now begin to argue amongst themselves, which is not a good sign. But Egan caught a great ball there again, Mick, under, under severe pressure. He's heavy a mighty game, there's no doubt about it. He is the, 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 the rock in which Kilburn are built. And it gives gives it out, gives it out Shane coming out on Shane being chased being chased out by James Sheehy. Well held by James Sheehy. James Sheehy strikes it down the right hand side of the field. Oh comes Mackey with that guy. This is the man that could spack to the into life. Gives a dangerous ball in. That's a good score by Mackey Sheehy. Big still different Mick. Would it be what to what to while bringing him out? <laughs> well that's a lot of us. He is out. Oh he's out. He's out and William Egan. This could be a tussle though. Yes, because he, he is the, the, the one attacking force that they have, isn't he? Yeah, but of course, it takes a threat from the inside line again, then. That's the only thing that's from the And here comes Shane Hill, Shane being fouled. And now it's a free into Tullerese to score 12 points to 8. Kilbrin and Top all through, but Tullerese are hanging in there. And this is uh, Liam O'Connor, the former Belly Hill, getting ready to strike this ball, well within his range. Or is he going to drop it into them? William Egan and Mackie Sheehy gone back. On the 14th, a dangerous high ball in. 
It's going to the right and right. It's gone in. It's a goal. I don't know who got a touch. Did Mackey get a touch to the what? But and Mackey strokes out. There was an after ball who coming back out, but no, we, we won't say a word about it. Don Roach just calling him in aside. The goal stands. It's 1 8 to 11 points. Yes, there was an after ball coming out. Yeah, I think there was a bit of after ball coming out. Um, William, was, William Egan has spoken. He's on a yellow card. This game is getting lively. There's only one point in it. Come back here, partner. We're going to have a rip-roll on Mick, I think. Well, we spoke at half time that if we, if we got a goal, if Kilburn got it to put a bit of an advantage to him, and if, if what you call it, got it up to Lee, he's got it to make a great game, but I think it looks like... Yes, it's a good game of hauling now. And out comes... Oh, got us in with the ball, trying to get inside and it's here. He's lost his whole leg. Ball's up at the sideline. Paddy Egan is there. And it is a sideline ball to Kilburn. Or a free to Kilburn. We'll see now. It looks like it is a... Don Lodge is called. The referee is calling for the ball. Shane Corey striking. And strike it out of bounds, so that puts the score now 13 points to 1 8. Two points in it. With eight minutes gone, quick puck out down the far side of the field. David O'Sullivan is there, uh, Stephen Stokes is there. Out comes Paddle Cronin, Paddle Cronin striking, being well hooked by Shane Crowley. Into David O'Sullivan, being out of Kim Shane, Kim, give it back, give it back to. On Shannon, being easy, gone inside. And out comes James Shee with the ball being tackled by on Shane, gives it out, out to Bingy Shee, Bingy up, delivers a quick ball up the side of the field. And it's great holding by Daniel Chen, great holding with it, it's, it's after going out of control, and it's gone, out, it's gone out over the line for the sideline ball. Well, the linesman said it was, so he's the boss, that's he's the boss. Daniel lost control and just stepped out over the line, sideline ball, Finbar Stokes taking the sideline ball. That's a dangerous ball in up there, go inside. Uh, Stephen Soaks is there. Um, Kieran Shen ball by Stephen looking for our options. Plays it out towards Mackey. She here. Mackey being faced by William Egan. Mackey slips. Egan tackles him. Hand passes it back. Hands it back to St Stephen. Stephen O'Leary. Stephen O'Leary strikes. And it's over the bar. That's a one point game now. This is what's turning out to be a rip roaring to a holiday final. Well, I'm totally happy. I'm getting the Kilburn side of you. Totally We're happy enough at the You're moment. Enough. Yeah. All right, that's fair enough. <laughs> Ball goes out to the far side of the field. Up goes um, to Mark Soily, to Mark Soily. And bursts the out through the middle is Lee O'Connor. It's a dangerous ball in. And Paddy O'Shea holds it. And Paddy O'Cannon holds the ball, comes out. Oh. Out to Daniel Shea. Note to side of the field. Bingy Shea goes. Um, Alan Shee, Alan Shee is the ball being tackled by Paddy Egan. Paddy Egan, um, Bingy Shee coming out and he's tackling. It's a free out. A free out to Tullalees. Tullalees, Bingy Shee getting ready. Liam O'Connor going back to take it. And what is turning out to be a fantastic final, Mick? Huh? Oh, it is a great game. It is going to be a great finish now. That we, I mean, we're only a small bit into the second half still, but with the way the game is going, I think anyone could win it. And that's Liam O'Connor's a dangerous ball in. Up there, go inside there. Daniel Chen, Kinton comes out. Out to us. Harley Rare note very near us here now. Garrett Linhan going for it. Sandy Bingy, Sandy off him. He's gone, he's gone past him. Being chased now by Alan Sheehy. Trying to get inside him. He's gone, he's gone inside. He's still going. And it's a free out. He caught it three times. And it's a free out to um, Tullalese. Free out to Tullalese. And what's a rip roaring game? Tough game. Okay, I mean, the, the fact that Talisa have come so much into now, they've gained half from that, and they're playing with great momentum. And Kilburn has done nothing, but the way Talisa have come back at him, so that, you know, it's still anyone's game now. Anyone's game is. And here goes Malice O'Connor with the ball. Lifting, striking. That's a dangerous body. We have Mackie Sheehan and, and, and Willem Egan. Up they go. And Willem. I, was, I think um, we're bringing Mackie out is after upsetting um, Willem, is it? Well, the fact that he got a yellow card, I suppose he has to be a bit more cautious and he couldn't find himself in the sideline, but I didn't see any free that to be quite honest with you. Is this going to be the equalising point for, for Tullalese? Liam O'Connor getting ready. He, he doesn't usually miss him, but he missed it, and that's over the bar. And here in Liz Moyer and the Dohalla Junior Holding Championship Final, 12 minutes into the second half, and we are all square.
in what is a very entertaining game. No, Kilburn after doing his marble in the second half to at least after opening it. So, oh, what's a great bat by Shane Hare. Gives it out, gives it out to... Um, and there goes Stephen O'Leary, Stephen O'Leary, that's who Kane is a dangerous ball in. Up there go Kieran Shane is a dangerous guy. One end pulled by Don Stokes, and what a score that was, Mick. A great score. A, a great score, well, with one only. Feeling and dropped in and then swung it over the bar, a great point for Tully, to be fair. And here, won a, or Stephen here won, a, won a, a good ball, Shane here won a good ball in the middle of the field, aided by um, Stephen Stokes. High ball in, and kill, uh, Stephen Stokes has it. Gives it out to O'Leary. O'Leary was playing a very good game here this evening. Ooh, boy, been tackled by Tomas Riley. Back into Stephen Stokes. Stephen running out to the fence. Been chased, been chased by Holly. Gives it out, gives it out to Alan Sheehy. Alan Sheehy on his right. And that's a great score from Alan Sheehy. And Tullanis have gone two points in front. There's a Tullanis man down here. Kill, make it, kill Brenner in a small ball, but it's over there after. Oh, yeah, I think, think, by the way, till Lisa have come back and run in fairness, till Lisa playing very well, they're getting all the breaks and maybe a few, frost, few soft frees in addition to that, but in fairness, from the, from the time oh, five minutes into the second half, till Lisa had the better team. There's no point saying otherwise. Just switch a Mackey out and well, Willem is after. I want to, although you had midfield, I'm getting the breaking ball. No. Here we go, ball is pucked out inside of the field. Tullalee's gone two points in front. Up they go in the middle of the field. Who will win the ugly ball is the man. So Shane Hare is coming over it. Shane Hare. And it's a free for Tullalee's. A free for Tullalee's. And there's a soap coming on here for Kilbrin. Um, as Liam O'Connor gets ready to take the free. And Daniel Shane is coming in. Or Dan Sullivan, sorry. Daniel Sullivan is coming in for David O'Sullivan. Daniel going in, Daniel, whose father Dan was a great holder. No, Liam O'Connor getting ready with his free. And that is a great score for Liam O'Connor. Tuller Lees have got one goal in front, and now it, well, this will test Kilburn. They are three points down if they win this, they are a good side. A huge change has come in this game. Kilburn were five up at half time and you say coasting away nicely. And next year all of a sudden they're going from 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 from, from five points up to three points behind and Tullerese are working very hard and you know. Oh, well won uh, Stephen O'Leary last Oh that was a duck tip. That was a I thought there'd be a, I thought there'd be a booking there, Mick, but no. He's appalling. I thought there'd be a booking there. It's a free and out to to, to um Kilburn. And who's coming out to take us uh, is is it Liam Daly coming to take it? No, Sh Shane Crowley. Shane Crowley will put two points in it surely here. Shane lives, strikes. And over the bar. So it's back to two points. Back to two points. With a quarter an hour to go. Two points in it in a thrilling do Hollow Junior holding for a championship final. Up they go. Um, Mackie goes up. Winnem Win Eagle goes up. Tather Cronin has it. And the ball break out, Holly Rain, Holly Rain gives out to Tomas Rain. Tomas very well blocked down there by, by Pather Cronin. Um, and the ball is out over the line. Finbar Stokes was. Yes, it's tension filled here, Mick, no? playing very well, and they're getting some good scores, and they are deservedly in front of the stage from the way they're playing for the, in the second half. That is an awful cut straight out over the sideline. And it gives the momentum back to Tullerlees now as Binji Shee is getting ready here to to take the sideline ball. Of course Binji's dead. Binji was a great holder with Tullerlees. And Binji getting ready with this sideline ball. Another poor sideline ball. William we have Paddy Egan comes out. Paddy's great eggs. He's running with the ball. Daniel Sheehan has it. Daniel, Daniel Solomon, sorry, has it. Gives it out to Shane Crowley going for the ball. Ball breaks back here. Alan Sheehy goes for it. And on Shane, that's a dangerous ball in. And they go for it. Out comes Liam Daly, Liam Daly. Um, David O'Sullivan. And out comes Alan and Liam O'Connor with the ball. Liam bursts up the field. Being chased by Tomas so Riley. Liam still going. Holds it up to, up to the right corner of our position. Paddle Cronin goes out for it. Paddle being chased by. By um, Tomas O'Reilly, and the ball is. I can remember down injured here. Stephen O'Leary is down. Oh, 
I know that. Off. That's easy. This is a surprise me. Me? This is a surprise. Taking hold of me all right enough? Yeah, it is a surprise because I didn't think he was playing that badly, to be quite honest with you. It was a good game. That's a big surprise here. Um, all right, uh, Holly Redden is, has been replaced, which I think is a, a, a big shock, right? Um, Kieran Shehan has gone back, wing back to Max Stephen O'Leary, and Stephen O'Reardon is in, isn't it? Stephen Riley. Or Stephen Riley is in, yeah. Right, and Pazor Croner has gone for Tullerese, and who's in? In the meantime, the ball has gone over the bar. So it's 15 points to one top 10, one point in it. Jason Sheehan is in. Jason Sheehan is in for uh, Tullerese. That's a free out. <laughs> and it's Tolalisa give you out. Tolalisa give you out to the referee in the ball. Being this indiscipline always costing Tolalisa. One point in it. Ten minutes left, one point in it. A free. William Egan getting ready to take this free. William, who was really dominating the game in the first half, second half is different since Matthew and she has come up, ball breaks in, it's a dangerous ball inside, breaks on the edge of the square. Oh, dangerous ball pulled on, it's still there, the edge of the square, and uh, who, who brought it out? James, he brought it out, but it's a free in to Tullalese, or to Kilbrin. Free in to Kilbrin. That was a, a, a free in, and it looks like it's against the full back, James Sheehy. Don't know. But this is going to bring the game back to level terms in what is a very, very entertaining Doha Holy Final, Mick, isn't it? That is a great game. And I mean, that's 10 minutes to go. You said that we're going to have a great finish. I mean, if he puts them in, puts them over the, over the bar, it will be level. I think it will be 16 points to 113. And I think it's whoever can hold out the strongest in for the last 10 minutes or whoever gets a goal will win. Would you roll out a um, replay? Uh, it is a possibility, I suppose, if that level 10 minutes ago, it's always a possibility, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, I think that, you know, I think he'll win for legend, don't you? I will, no. This is going to get him back in level terms. It's at the moment 15 points to 113. Shane Crowley getting ready with the, with the free. No, 10 minutes ago and we're all square. Eight minutes ago, sorry. In a rip roaring to Holly Holly final. Marge O'Connor down the far side of the field. Possession is vital here. Up they go. Ball breaks out and Daniel Chen gets out. Daniel Sullivan gets it. And here out comes oh, uh, Petty Shee. Petty Shee missed times, but he's well hooked. He's still. Ball breaks up here. Out comes Benji Shee with the ball. No, he's been tackled. He's been fouled. And it's a free, no, a free for Tullerese. Eight points left to score all square. Liam O'Connor getting ready with the puck. On his own 65. He misses it, but it's dropping dangerously in. Stokes is pulling with the one hand again. It breaks inside. Uh, pulled in by Stephen Stokes. Stephen is still there. Trying to get inside the defenseman. Chased out by Terry Catlin. Gives it back out here to uh, Finbar. Finbar recycles it out here to um, Stephen O'Leary. Stephen O'Leary into Alan Shee. Alan Shee's look at right on. That's a great knock down by Paddy Egan. And a free out for um, Kilbrin. That was a great block down by Paddy Egan, Mick. Great block down. Yeah, it looks like Alan Shee hit the ball, point tapped over the bar. Could see nothing happening, only ball going over the bar for Tullalese point. But, you know, that block down, if a score comes off of this, it could be very significant. William Egan, off the far side of the pitch, they're going off there. James Shee's are all, uh, now comes Tomas Riley. Tomas Riley turns, that could be a great score for Kilbrin. That's a great score, a good score from Tomas Riley. Great score, Mick. That was a great score. That was a great score. Yes. Locked down here from Paddy Egan, like when... when down on the ball, went in and Thomas Riley won on the ball, went over the bar. Lucky she is there, ball breaks down, Egan is there. Ball goes out for on on Shane, on Shane, and Paddy, Paddy, she, Paddy. On Shane has gone inside. He's taking on the, the, the um, Tullis defence, he's still going. Gives a great ball up towards Liam Daly, Liam Daly gets into his hand, comes inside. Gives it back in, in towards Shane Crowley, Shane Crowley gives it back into on Shane. And now comes Benji she with the ball, Benji, stroke, Benji blocked down again, that's great blocking. Stephen Riley is there. And coming out the ball is 
Binji, Binji, she hand passes over to Paddy Sheehy. And referee blows his whistle. Player down. It has a uh, free out, I presume, for Tullerese, isn't it? Because of player down, yeah, and they can, yeah. Five minutes left. There, has been, there will be a bit of injury time, though, and in what is a rip rolling to Hollow Final. Um, who's the one? Own Shane is on, is it? Own Shane is on, is it? Own Shane is on. It's a, a free out to Tullerese. Liam O'Connor getting ready to take it. And what has been as good as the final final of the for a long time. Well, it's a great contest, there's no doubt about it. And then MBD shoot going to be in doubt right up to the very last book. Come on, Kendrick, come on! This is OK. Now, Tullerese, one point down. But five minutes to go. It's a long delivery down, of course. Uh, William Megan Makishihi, the head position, they were coming with the ball. And here comes William Megan with the ball going through, and... When Megan getting ready to take this free. That was a vital clearance from William there, wasn't it? Yeah. William strikes it. Strikes up the middle. Adam Sheehy looks like he's in the control of this ball. He is very well held by Adam Sheehy. Being chased by Stephen O'Reilly. He's still going. Hand pass into Stephen O'Leary. Stephen Turner is going for the post. It's going to the left and wide, or is it going to be kept in plates? Gone to the right, left and wide. They're down in Jordan's side. Um, as he was trying to keep the ball in play there, I think. Yeah, something happened in there. I didn't see exactly what did job, but we, he suffered some small little bit of an accident anyway. There's not a report that the ball is going wide. Watch it stopped again. So we, we, it's only the referee knows how much is left in this now. <coughs> Yeah, out the far side of the field, out towards David O'Sullivan, and he has it, that was a great puck out. Oh no, it was not, uh, Con Carroll, Con up the far side of the field, off they go inside, and that's a great catch by Owen Sheen. Gives it in, gives it in towards the Walsh Riley, that's a great, gives it back to, um, to Garrett Linehan, Garrett. That's a good score from Garrett Linehan. <coughs> I've got two points up now. Two points in it now, which we make it three minutes left. That's a dangerous ball, high ball down the middle. Up they go. And that's a great catch by Makishi. That is some catch. And a free in. That was some catch by Makishi. This will bring it down to the minimum. But I didn't see, again, I didn't see any free. That stood in his way. They impeded him going forward and they gave a free in. Oh, there's not even one point with it. Look, I said to you about 10 minutes ago, Mick. We could be going for another day out. There we go. There's the big Nemo can't get anybody with the free, just to put the minimum between them. Lift strikes. And it's over the bar. One point between the sides. No. This puck out is vital. Who will win this puck out? Well, it's getting very vital now. Every puck is vital now. There's yeah. only a point in the time is almost up. Break so. of a ball is going to win this. I make it two minutes left. Uh, has to be there is in the time of the goal middle field. Paddy Egan gets it. Being chased by Alan Sheehy, pushing it back. That was a stupid free to give away, like. It's a winning, winning scoring distance. And uh, I make it a minute and a half left. But there will be, there will be injury time. Shane Crowley getting ready. This is a vital free now. If he, if he gets it, one point in it. Shane Crowley. All the way, can Ben go into a two-point lead? No, this is a vital one. He always going to... Mackie Sheen, William Megan, the ball goes up. Mackie is going through, gives it in there to... Um... Come on, you want to help him? Get in and help him. Mackie Sheen trying, and out comes um, Kieran Sheen, Kieran Sheen. Ah, come on, Jesus Christ! Kieran Sheen get ready to take this free. Two points in it. Time running out. It's a vital free now. Strikes the ball out towards the middle. Up they go now. And it's a great catch by James Sheehy. And a great hand pass out. Hand pass out towards Shane. Shane here. Shane going up the far side of the field. Being chased by two coming. And that's a great interception by Owen Shane. Owen. That's a great interception. Drives it in. That'll be some score. It goes over. 
and it's gone to the right and wide. Generally with a puck out, a pick puck out here to Stephen O'Leary. Oh, and he, he missed up, Tom, Tom Riley is there. And I think, Mick, that could be the turning point. Shot puck out. Did, yeah. There was an opportunity there, but at least a loose man and that, in fairness to the goalkeeper, he found him, but he, he messed up. And messed up in yeah, yeah. He knows what he'll bring if he has put this over. I think it is, it is nearly cut in for Talisa, that's it. That'll make it 20 on, points no, for him. We'll give him three right. points in front and yeah, he'll and have to get a goal into the level. Yes, it's a great score, good, good score by, by um, Ann Coley. Yeah. Three points in it. Yeah, it will take a goal now to, to, to do it for um, Tullerese. Naki Sheehan with a meeting goes up, and that's a great one. Oh, it's Kieran Shen coming up. That's a great catch by Kieran Shen, captain of the team. Turn this ball in. Oh, no. Well blocked down, and got it, got it in. Come on, Brett, come on. That's it now, I'd say that was a uh, free and out to. Kilbrin. And it looks like. How many take? And it looks very light. This is Kilbrin's day. Four points. Four points in it now. And Shane Crowley getting ready with the free. Shane who's kicking, uh, who's scored some lovely free. It's a dangerous ball in. Is it all the way up? It goes. Crowley gets it sticked it. It comes out the side of the field. And it's dribbled out over the sideline. Well, tell this now it's all over. It's uh, and Kilbrain. And after doing three in a row, which is a great achievement, Mick. That's a great achievement. Never before done by Kilbrain. They never won two in a row now. They have three in a row. All over, I think, is it? And the free down rush calls to the ball. And Kilbrain had to do Hollow Junior Hurling Champions for 2013. Mick, congratulations. Uh, I can't uh, do it. Our son, Christian Dora. What are my dos? What are my dos? I hope they have one spot told you know. Um, what am I going to say? I'm going to be part of something. So, I'm going to be part of something. 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 I'm going to be part of uh, game came a great endeavour by both sides. I would like to um, commiserate as much with uh, Tom Lees, the Prince who Jeff here today. Um, the Prince were always the favourites here, and but uh, I must say Tom Lees really put it up to them. At one stage, out of ten minutes to go, it was anybody's game. I would like to thank uh, EPS, the sponsors of this championship. They have been our sponsors for a long period of time, and we we very much appreciate. The funds they're putting towards the playing of games in, in, in Duhalo. Uh, we need it especially for our, uh, all the work we're doing in the development of underage teams. Yeah. I would like to thank Liz Meyer, who made magnificent preparations for this game. Their pitch um, and all the personnel they had available to them here today, it's a credit to, to the, their club. They're a small club, but they've put a fantastic endeavour into the preparation of this game, and we're very, very thankful to them. Um, I want to thank the referee and his uh, umpires and officials uh, for the magnificent work that he has done today. Congratulations to Kilbrin. It takes a very good team to win one championship, and to hold a championship is difficult to win, but it takes a great team to win three in a row, and they have achieved that today. So it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the board to present uh, this uh, John John Brosnan Memorial Cup to Kieran Sheehan, the captain of Kilbrin. Yeah. Um, first, I'd like to thank the team 
it's a great honor to, to accept this call from behalf of them because they do they do everything for you. They could through the wall for you. And uh, anything we ever asked them to do during the year, they just did it, no questions asked. Uh, second of all, I'd like to thank um, Vinny, Donnie and Tommy for running the club really. They, no one really sees what they do, but uh, we, we noticed it and we like to thank them for that. I'd like to thank um, Liz Meyer for the pitch. It was a special order in fairness. And um, the referee, Don Roach, she did a great job. So I'd like to thank them as well. Um, I'd like to thank our selectors, um, Damien, Pat, Dinny. Um, every training session they're there, Rain, Hale, or Shane, they never miss one, and we really appreciate it. So thanks to Les. Um, I'd like to a huge thank you to Sean O'Gorman. He came in, this is his third season here, and he bound us together as a team, and we were just so grateful for his presence in the dressing room, and his words just, he gets us all going, so thanks to Shani. <laughs> and last, I'd like to commiserate um, Tull Lees. Great fight, there was great fighting him. Um, <coughs> I think last last time they lost the final, they came back the year after and won it, so that showed great character and depth in their team. So, three cheers for Tullis. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip.